Dear friends, how do we do? Guess what's new with the GN boat today? The Mini V8 G GN boat. I'm going to make a custom puke tank or catch can. It's going to mount right here. Just like what I did with the fuel tank here, I'm going to use one of these old time airplane fuel tanks. Now what I've done with one of the bungs here is I bent it and I made it so it's going to make a hanger and I'm going to solder this brass plate to it and drill it out to make a hanger and where that's going to mount is right here because this is where it seems to be the best place in area for the pew tank drains now that's going to be the vent hole and this down here is going to be the inlet and that's the hose down there of course that's going to connect to it it goes from an oil pan <clears throat> now what i really 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 would like to do is use a braided hose which would be very trick and very consistent with everything I've done in here. So first I'm going to pre-tin this copper area with solder. So I can hang the plate on there to make the hanger. Well that pre-tinned really well. Got a nice coat of solder on there. Now I'm going to pre-tin the brass plate as well. I've been working with brass and copper and tin and soldering since I was a kid. And one thing I do know is... Sanding the area that I'm going to solder prior promotes adhesion. Like, see this area here? I sanded it. I'm going to pre tin that, and it's going to mate with my hanger. Now that tinned up real well. Let's mate it up. Now I jigged it up and soldered it. be a little bit off but it's brass I can bend it right into shape the small amount it could be off it's actually very straight for having been eyeballed now I'm gonna mount it up mark the hole and drill it out and cut off the excess and we've got a hung catch can I also have to solder that mouth shut because that could be air leak also fluid leak <laughs> Now, I'm not super crazy about the diameter of the holes on here. They're really small. So, I just may drill them out. That's some larger diameter stuff. So, we went larger on the inlet side. I left the vent hole the same size because it's not like it's putting a fast liquid in there. Let's see how this goes. Next, we have to mock it up and drill the hole for the mounting hanger. Okay, with a little bit of adjustment of the hanger, I like the way it hangs. Slightly suspended. Now to cut off the excess from the bracket, we've got ourselves a puke tank. Okay, now that hung real nice. Just how I wanted it to. The inlet is real low. It's just a nice silver piece. When I was a kid, I used to see these fuel tanks at the hobby shop like 40 years ago. And they were old then. You know, and nobody nobody even used them anymore then. But I always wanted to use them in something. And when I made this tank in the hangers and adapted this, and it worked so well, I don't see why I wouldn't just use that for a puke tank as well. I tried to order some fancy ones. And you know what? I, I, I really like this type of aircraft. Old fa good old-fashioned tin. And it adds a nice ring to the boat with the engine. Everything with nice harmony. Everything jingles really well. I'm pleased with it. And I'm quite sure it will stuff it. Now I'm debating whether I make a braided hose for, for this.
It doesn't clash much with the V drive. I think it's great. It's a nice little tank sitting there. So I couldn't help it. I took my flat, flat steel braid and my tubing and I made a braided hose for it with a fitting. I'll finish the other end of the fitting and show you how it's hooked up. As you can see, from an oil pan down there to this point, it needs to be really flexible. So I'm gonna leave it silicone to this point, but I've incorporated a hose clamp to tie it in to the steel braided hose. We're gonna route that and put another fitting on the end. And this is how I'll make the fitting on the end shrink wrap. Trim it down around this thing. Now how I know this tank is working, now that I pulled the hose off, I see oil exiting it. That means while it was just sitting there when I just installed it, it almost promoted oil to go in there. That's really good. Now for lack of trimming the edges real neat, we've got a fitting. Okay, still braided hose leading to it and it's nice. I like how that worked out. Worked out really well. I might make a longer one just to cover that, but I, I do like the flexibility of the silicone back there. And it ties in with a clamp to our steel braided hose. Beautiful. Now, as soon as I'm done fabbing up a puke tank for that thing, this nifty unit showed up in the mail from eBay. This thing's pretty trick and pretty cool. I was going to put this thing there, but you know, I'm actually really quite happy with the one I fabbed up. This one's cool though. It's got the indicator for how much fluid's in there, and you can set it up vertically like this, which would look really cool actually, because it would look like a, a, a dry sump tank, but you know what? I'm going to hang on to this. In case I do decide to change it. But the configuration on it, I'm not super fond of it because everything's on the bottom. And I want it to feed into the bottom, but I need vents. I need a vent hole at the top. And everything's down there. I could plug everything off down there and drill out a vent up there and put an air filter. But uh, we'll see. Either way, stay tuned. This thing's going to be on the water soon. Please like and subscribe to my videos. I really want to get uh, out there more because I have a lot to contribute to the RC boating community. And with your help and your likes and your subscriptions, we can get there real easy. Stay tuned.